Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Monday, September 27th, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Happy Monday. What a gorgeous weekend. Saturday was a bust for me. I had to do a bunch of overdue paperwork, but Sunday brunch was at the always great Metropolitan, and no, Mayor Buckley did not pay me to say that. A walk downtown to check out the Electric Vehicle Showcase and a chance meeting with Senator Astle, and it's always good to see him. But alas, it is Monday, so let's get into it, shall we? The daily school bus update. According to AACPS, there are 16 routes that will not be delivering your kids to school today. However, they are updating that list in about 15 minutes after we release the DNB. So please check aacps.org slash buses for the latest cancellations and delays. The Anne Arundel County Police are investigating a shooting that sent a man to shock trauma on Friday night. They got a call reporting gunshots in the area of Greenleaf Terrace in Glen Burnie and found a victim on the ground in the 8,000 block of Cranemont Drive. He was sent to shock trauma with non-life-threatening injuries, and evidence indicates that the shooting did indeed happen in the 8,000 block of Greenleaf. Police are asking anyone for any tips or information to give them a call. 410-222-6145. In some better police news, the Annapolis police have awarded six scholarships to city students. The $5,000 scholarships can be used for any post-secondary education, including trade school. The scholarships are funded by private donations and notably again for the third year, an anonymous donor made a sizable contribution in memory of the five slain employees of the Capital Gazette. The winners this year are Katerina Brown from Annapolis High, headed to the University of Maryland, Amelia Clemens from St. Mary's, headed to Catholic U, Simon Durland, also from St. Mary's, headed to Penn State, Demira Folks from Annapolis, going to New York and the Parsons School of Design, Kelly May from South River STEM Magnet Program to the University of Tennessee, and Isabella Papalanti from Annapolis High, off to George Mason. So congratulations and best of luck to all of you. Speaking of colleges, Navy, particularly Navy football. Well, the good news is that they looked a lot better than they did the first two games. And the bad news is that they lost to Houston 28 to 20. Navy has not had a zero and three start since 2001 when they went winless all season. Next up is UCF, which comes to Annapolis next Saturday at 3.30 p.m. for kickoff. UCF is picked to finish in second place in the American. We will have the coverage of the game, so you want to be sure to follow us on Twitter and look for a live blog post on ionanapolis.net. 0-3, oh, that was a big number this weekend, it seemed, between Navy football and the Bowie Bay Sox. The Bay Sox saw their season end this weekend in Akron after losing to the Arrows 6-5. This was the best of five playoff series, and that loss, combined with the two here in Bowie, doomed their chances. But it was a great season for the Bay Sox. They finished 73-47, and which is the best winning percentage in club history. Looking to 2022, the Bay Sox opened at home on April 8th against Richmond Flying Squirrels. Info and tickets at baysox.com, which does make a little bit of sense. And as we begin to wrap up, a few dates for your calendar. December 11th, it is the annual Eastport Yacht Club Lights Parade. Not the Parade of Lights because they're very sensitive about that, but that is always a fantastic evening and, in my opinion, even better when it is really cold outside. Interested in participating? There is a decorating and information seminar at Eastport Yacht Club on October 8th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the second date is a little bit closer in, like this Sunday at the Eastport Democratic Club. The music scene in Annapolis is coming together to remember and honor one that was lost. Sean Hetrick passed away unexpectedly in November of last year, and the music and his music in particular goes on. It's a free festival, but donations are accepted at the door. They'll have live and silent auctions, food, lots of fun, and lots of music. Pressing strings, Scribe, Kabusi, Timmy Metz, Alexander Peters, and Sean's original band, The Leftovers, will all be playing. You want to please come on out, donate, bid generously, and all of this does benefit our local AMFM. Finally, I hope you caught the local business spotlight we dropped on Saturday with Ambassador Aiken from the Eastport Pickleball. It was a fun one, despite the passing fire truck. Up next weekend, challenge virtual escape rooms in Glen Burnie. 
We dropped a bonus pod on Friday with Alan Hewitt from Alan Hewitt and One Nation, and he's the keyboardist of the Moody Blues, and that was a lot of fun. Don't forget, tomorrow is Ticket Tuesday, so you want to be sure to listen in for a chance to win some stuff. And if I were a betting man, I'd say it'd be for Alan's show at Ramshead on stage on the 4th. All right, that's it for the news. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for today's Daily News Brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster Company, Rehab to Perform, and MacMedics. All righty, it is Monday, and Ann Alcina from Covington Alcina is here with your Monday Money Report. And as always, George Young from DC MDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather report. All of that coming up in just a bit. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. With all the talk of energy resilience in the news recently, I'm surprised there's not more talk about solar plus batteries, especially since one third of all of our new residential solar projects include a battery backup system that provides instant energy security and peace of mind. And with incentives in place for battery backup, this investment is now more affordable than ever. With financing rates as low as 0.99% and plans offering 18 months same as cash, it's now easier than ever to go solar with no money down. Financing creates an easy bill swap scenario where you replace your electric bill with a loan payment, allowing you to build equity in your own personal energy supply. Don't wait for your next power outage to act. Contact us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net to learn more about solar with battery backup. Don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Monday, September 27th. It was a great weekend across all of the Anne Arundel County, and this week and weekend ahead should follow suit with the exception of Tuesday, which could bring some p.m. showers and storms as another frontal boundary moves through from the west after a brief two-day warm-up today and tomorrow. Look for sunny highs today in the 78 to 85 degree range to be followed by mixed skies tomorrow with low to mid-80s. For highs, as a cold front moves through from the west, possibly kicking off some p.m. showers and storms on Tuesday, with conditions then behind the front turning perfect Wednesday through Sunday, with each day sporting sunny skies and highs in the 70 to 75 degree range, with a.m. lows each morning in the upper 40s to upper 50s as we close out September, with October kicking off on Friday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of D.C., MDVA weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC MDVA weather in the Apple or Google app stores. And also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and definitely use our website each day at DC MDVA weather.com. So you can always stay weather informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. I've always loved being a realtor because to me, it's more than a job. It's something that gives me an incredible sense of helping others. And this year in particular, when so many people we've helped had to move rather than wanted to move, it gave me an even greater sense of purpose. Whatever the reason for someone's move, from a career relocation to simply needing to downsize, it has truly been super rewarding and a privilege to be able to assist our clients through all the steps of their journeys. Though it hasn't always been easy, we've learned new ways of navigating the home buying and selling process. So whether you need to say goodbye to your current home or are looking for a new house to start the next chapter of your life in, the Christy Neidhart team is here to work with you and for you, because truly, we are all in this together. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. You work hard for your money. Is your money working hard for you? Managing and investing, it can be confusing. Ann Alsina, a financial planner from Covington Alsina, has been helping people make sense of it all for over 17 years. Are you ready? Now here's your Monday Money Report. This is Ann Alsina of Covington Alsina with your Monday Money Report. And we're back. Last Tuesday, the markets began to recoup the losses of the last two weeks. The S&P 500 is down for the month, but still has strong gains for the quarter and year to date. The Federal Reserve Bank has stated they will begin to reduce bond purchases as the economy has begun to stabilize. 
The biggest worry last week was the default by the Chinese real estate company Evergrande Group. The company has borrowed aggressively as it helped to fuel the country's building boom. The Chinese government has begun cracking down on companies that have what it feels are excessive debt. Evergrande has about $305 billion in debt, according to Fast Company. An $83.5 million payment was missed last week. Technically, they have a 30-day grace period and aren't officially in default. The concern is that the default would cause a ripple effect across institutions, similar to the default by Lehman Brothers in 2008. The big difference is that Evergrande's debt is not as widespread. In addition, China retains strong regulatory control over its financial institutions. It is unlikely they would allow those institutions to call the debt and trigger a full collapse. A restructuring is much more likely. The market had largely already adjusted valuations on the basis of the looming default. Remember that stock prices are forward-looking, and this debt crisis by Evergrande was widely known. We may see the ripples across China's economy, and that would trickle out to emerging markets. But a full repeat of the 2008-09 financial crisis is unlikely. In addition to all of this, the U.S. is facing another government shutdown if the two political parties can't manage to compromise and pass a spending bill. This is a great reminder that no matter how secure your job is, you still need three to six months of living expenses in liquid or easily available assets. Your action to take this week is to change the filter on your HVAC system. Dirty filters can strain your system, increasing wear and tear and electricity costs. You can also register for more educational events on our website at covingtonalcina.com. Be sure to check out our Facebook page for more information. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA, ICPC, investment advice offered through Great Valley Advisor Group, a registered investment advisor, Covington Alcina and Great Valley Advisor Group are separate entities from LPL Financial. All performance references historical and there's no guarantee of future results. All indices are unmanaged and may not be invested into directly. The opinions voiced in this show are for general information only are not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual. Determine which strategies or investments may be appropriate for you. Contact the appropriate qualified professional prior to making a decision. And if you don't have a financial advisor, come talk to us. This is Ann Alcina with Covington Alcina. Are you an active adult or competitive athlete dealing with an injury keeping you from being at your best? Then Rehab to Perform is here to get you back to your full potential. R2P is a unique fitness-focused physical therapy company with four locations in Maryland. More like a training room and a personal training studio than a medical facility. R2P offers physical therapy for lower back pain, overuse injuries, post-surgery, muscle pulls, chronic pain, and more. R2P also offers rehabilitation for concussions and mild traumatic brain injuries. To learn more, visit Rehab to Perform You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, eyeonannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Eye on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.